I'm a massive fan when it comes to using the Apple Wallet app. This native app actually has a lot of amazing features that a lot of people don't know about. Because aside from making purchases transaction, adding your digital credit card, you can also include your driver's license, if your state supports it, public transportation passes, movie tickets. You even have a card to have access to your smart home lock. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and run down everything you need to know about this app, as well as how to set up some of these additional settings, as well as the capability to track your online packages all automatically. So all that and more in this video. And yes, I'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the video description down below for your pleasure. Let's begin. So here we are, the Apple Wallet app. And these are some of my cards I have. I have much more cards on my Apple Watch as well. But right here, I have access to my smart home locks, my digital driver's license, a vehicle, Apple Cash, and the rest of my credit cards. And to add a new credit card, it's pretty advanced as you simply just tap plus up here. And if you have like third-party apps so like your banking accounts and such like that, you may also click on it right here and you're able to actually click on and select the cards you'd like to add and just hit continue and just verify with the app. It could also be a text message. You can simply add your credit cards by just simply logging into your native apps without having a physical credit card on your person. But right below there, you also see you have the ability to add your credit or debit card, transit cards, if you take like public transportations, your driver license, your Apple account, if you have an Apple credit card, and you also have access to the pay later functionality options. And these are the two firms that Apple actually is partnered with. And to add a credit card nowadays, it is that simple, simply just tapping right here, add debit or credit card, tap continue, and it will prompt you how to activate it. And this part's pretty amazing because you could take like a credit card like this one as an example, literally no numbers or anything like that. And you simply just follow the screen instructions, place it like so, and it automatically just adds it to credit card. Just like that. Now this card is already in my wallet, so it's not gonna do it. But notice how there was no need for me to add like credit card information or scan with a camera. It did it all wirelessly basically. And you'll be able to find your card right here. And then if you like to rearrange your credit cards, it's as simple as simply just long holding and dropping it to the front and it will be set to the now default card. So any card you have down here on the front will be the native default card. So you always have the ability to rearrange your cards just like this. Now the beauty about the Apple credit card, this allows me to have the freedom of not having to travel with a bulky wallet. I can leave my cards behind because if I wish to like copy my credit card information and I like to see the physical card number, I could tap on the card that I like to select. And if you tap this portion right here, you could add your physical card information, including like your card number, as well as the security code in the back. And you simply just select add a card. It'll use the camera and you just line everything up and it'll save that card information. This is here in case you're doing like a return or an over a phone purchase, you can find your credit card information right here on your wallet app without having to look for that physical card. And then it's also different than the Apple Pay card number as well because it's scrambled. It's different than the native physical card number to give you that extra layer of protection. So that's a very cool feature you have access to right here. Keep track of all your physical card numbers without physically having to travel with your cards. Additionally, you may have noticed I do have a California driver license, digital driver's license number right here on my Apple Wallet, which works at TSA most of the time. And I could just simply tap instead of actually bringing out my physical driver license to board the airplane. So that's a cool little feature right there if you like to actually set that up on your device. So if you like to set this up on your device, simply exit out of here, tap plus, and go into driver license and ID card. And it's only compatible on these states that you see right here, Arizona, California, Colorado, Hawaii, and etc. Even Japan. So if your state is enrolled in this program, you can simply just sign in with your DMV information, scan your ID, it will request for a selfie, and you're basically all set. But back in this page, you do have access to this information tab. By selecting here and you click on card information, it will actually give you your ID number as well. So you don't have to take a photo or have it fully memorized, and will also give you your expiration date of your ID card. Now, if you like to add a like boarding pass for like a bus or some type of transit, simply tap the plus and then click on the transit card. And from here, you'll notice that not only United States, but Canada, even China, as well as other countries are all compatible to be used right here, including Hong Kong, Japan, 
South Korea, it's pretty packed. This way you don't have to download a third party app once you actually are over there. It's already set up on your Apple wallet. Now, what's the My Home Key app? Now, if you have a digital key, in order for you to have access to this, you do need to have some type of smart lock enable on your household that is Apple Wallet compatible. If you see this logo on the bottom of the box, it's likely compatible. And to set this up, you'll have to actually go to the home app on your iPhone in this app and simply just tap plus and just add accessory, scan that QR code. And by simply doing that, you'll have access to, you'll have access to some dev bolts you have around your household. And once you do that, you'll have to double tap the power button on the side and then simply select on the my home card and simply just tap your device and it will automatically unlock. Now there's a setting where you can have it so it runs natively. So you don't have to actually launch your wallet app to automatically unlock your deadbolt. You can simply just tap your device, including your Apple Watch, to it without having to activate the wallet app. In order to set this up, you need to go into your iPhone settings. In the settings, scroll down until you find Wallet and Apple Pay. Click on it right here and go all the way down until you find the My Home section. From here, enable Express Mode. By having this enabled, now you simply just tap on your lock. It will automatically unlock as well as lock the deadbolt without you having to activate the wallet app. And if you need access to the physical pin code, you can also find the access code right in this section as well. Now, real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could kindly take two seconds to hit that like button and like because that strongly supports the channel because there's no integrated brands like a VPN sponsorship and sort of other sponsor ad segment that take like a minute or two off your time. I like to get straight to the point in my videos. And this is all thanks to you guys for continuing just simply hitting that like button and like. Continue to allowing this channel to be driven by you guys, not brands. So big thank you to those that took the time to do that. Let's resume. Now the beauty about the Apple Wallet app is that it will automatically scan your emails so long as you're using the native mail app on your iPhone and will automatically allow this app to automatically track your packages, which will give you notifications whenever your package is out for delivery, as well as when it's delivered. If you'd like to see this information, tap on these dots right here and you'll see on the very top it says order. Sorry if it might be a giant blur, but here's where you can actually see the order status from your packages. Simply tap on it and it'll actually reveal more information as well as show you exactly where I got that information from. And if you like to delete it, you could always delete it or mute the notification or check mark as complete. And it keeps it all organized to the point where you could actually go back and view some of your past months and see what was delivered and what was not delivered in those days. It allows you to basically be more organized even keeps track of cancel orders as well on your behalf. But if there's an order that needs to be dispute from a credit card as an example, click on the payment method to use, click on it. And from here, it'll give you contact information about the card, the bank itself, which will give you a quicker access to dispute certain things or correct certain things because on the very bottom, you can also correct and correct merchant information which is a much quicker method than having to Google search your bank fraud department to get a hold of them. Your Apple Wallet will give you that information right here and there, saving you a lot of time and effort. But if you have access to the Apple credit card, this is where we get more additional information. By clicking on it, not only does it keep track of all your like purchases that you've done in the past, but this card's pretty unique because the colors will actually correlate to the category that you're buying from. So like your groceries, entertainment, dining out, as well as other miscellaneous bills. That's what these colors simulate. And you can find the percentage average right here. So if you scroll down, you can see it right here. Each color correlates the most usage that you get out of this card. And you can find it all right here in the overall. And then as you pay the card, it will turn the color of this card will just turn white. It's pretty awesome. And of course, to make payments, you simply just tap pay. And you can use this little wheel to uh, see how exactly how much interest you'll collect if you don't pay it off fully. You can also schedule it from here as well. But exiting out of here, since the Apple card is a digital credit card, if you do need access to the physical card number, and it'll require Face ID to register, it will give you your card information right here. You can also enable advanced fraud, which is a very advanced feature because this will allow the security code to constantly change randomly. But if you like to request for a new card number for whatever set reason, you have that quick access right here. But this will be where you'll find a card and information in case you want to a phone transaction or buy something online and they don't support Apple Pay. 
And then if you'd like to see awards and offer that Apple is promoting with the Apple credit card, you can always click on the little dots right here, click on rewards and offer. You can see all the benefits that you can see right here. You also can set up a savings as well and collect uh, interest. Now the beauty about Apple credit card is from my experience, they're the lowest APR rate that I've been able to get. This is This card is actually low 20 APR, which is still high, don't get me wrong, but compared to other credit cards, Apple does give you the lowest interest for some reason. And it will also give you the highest return if you set up a savings with them, which is kind of cool. But down here, you can see like the latest promotions that's going on, including like gas savings, savings, so much more where you could always go back and view and review. But based off my experience with Apple Card, this is how much cash back I received from Apple, which is kind of incredible. Now, if you're traveling like to an airport or something like that, you go all the way to the very bottom. To this part right here you'll have access to like your AAA savings your membership savings your car insurance other memberships down here which you can simply just add on the actual app itself most of the time you'll see like an add apple wallet section simply add it and you'll locate it right here and this also includes like flights as well but if you like to see some past like old tickets you had in the past you can always tap on these dots from here all the way at the very bottom you can see like past event tickets you attended and the beauty with like airport tickets as an example as a virtual key you can see which gate your luggage will be loading and such all right here without having actually launched an actual app then if you need greater assistance you can tap the eye icon above here for more information we'll launch this section of the app which will give you more access to more information about this boarding pass ticket as well as the app that's linked to your ticket so you can see more airline information as an example but here you have the ability to also view more additional information including your departure time your arrival confirmation code e-ticket bag counts as well as quick contact information in case you have questions to the airline and then if you're using like a hotel key so long as you have the digital app installed from that hotel chain you're using you can also save it right here as an apple wallet app and will work exactly the same like your apple home key as well and then if you have a vehicle that supports it you can also have a digital backup key of your vehicle key as well which just like a tesla you'll be able to tap the door handle to get in and out of the vehicle and you can also remote start it and sometimes it will even give you access to the window control and the capability to wirelessly lock the vehicle from your smartphone without having to launch the native app like bmw as an example because if you tap the eye icon on above here you'll see the additional privileges that you will have with this digital key card, like I have the ability to unlock and drive the car. And it's all customizable in the native vehicle app as well. And for Apple Cash, if you need to send money to like a friend or a family or you're buying something, select the cash, select send. And on the very bottom, you'll see a tap to cash. From here, enter the amount. You can also enter a note. It'll request for a double tap for confirmation. And you'll see this new animation. And you can simply tap on another iPhone or you can also tap the Apple Watch that the user is using and this little animation transaction will also appear and you'll instantly just send the money transaction just like that. Super cool. Used it a couple of times. It's a lot more secure than Venmo or PayPal in my opinion. And there you have it. Now you are a pro when it comes to using your Apple Wallet to its full potential. Let me know in the comment section which one of these was your personal favorite because ever since iOS 26, I like these newly added integrations, such as the capability to get notified whenever your package is now in delivery, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you wish to watch more, I highly recommend checking out this video over there, as that is a video that YouTube algorithm is recommending specifically for you. Click on it and let me know in the comment section if it was right or not. If you really did enjoy that video that was recommended, I'm trying to gather data and see if it's actually consistent or not. Thank you so much for watching.